Today I want to talk to you about John Seymour's The Self-Sufficient Life and How to Live It. This book has made such an impact on me and after I started reading it, I really felt like I wanted to have a garden just because it has so many skills in there and teaches you really how to be more independent. There is a wealth of knowledge in this book, so I wanna do just a flip through with you because you might wanna purchase it. Although no, I'm not ready to become a full-time homesteader and I certainly am not gonna have the space to have a one acre or five acre um, yard, Still, there is so many good tips in here and little by little, just becoming even a little bit more self-sufficient is extremely rewarding. So let's take a look at this book and you can think about whether you would be interested in adding it to your library. Okay, let's take a look. So here's the book. It looks incredible. The pictures are wonderful. The information is concise and clear. I think you're gonna love it. Let's look at the contents. So you can see there are 10 chapters, the meaning of self-sufficiency, food from the garden, food from animals, food from the fields, etc., etc., ending with crafts and skills. Let's read this little introduction section. We had never had any real conscious drive to self-sufficiency. We had thought like a lot of other people that it would be nice to grow our own vegetables, but living here has altered our sense of values. We find that we no longer place the same importance on artifacts and gadgets as other people do. Also, every time we buy some factory-made article, we wonder what sort of people made it, if they enjoyed making it, or if it was just a bore, what sort of life the maker or makers led. I wonder where all this activity is leading. Is it really leading to a better or richer or simpler life for people or not? I wonder about the nature of progress. One can progress in so many different directions, up a gum tree, for example. I know that the modern factory worker is supposed to lead an easier life than, say, the peasant, but I wonder if this supposition is correct, and I wonder if, whether easier or not, it is a better life, simpler, healthier, more spiritually satisfying or not. So far as we can, we import our needs from small and honest craftsmen and tradesmen. We subscribe as little as we can to the tycoons and the admin and the boys with their expense accounts. If we could subscribe to nothing at all, we would be the better pleased. All right. So here you can start to see the flip through. I have highlighted certain sections that I was studying and looking at. There's so much information in here. It talks about the different seasons, what to expect, the urban garden, which is definitely most applicable to my life because I have a very small area. But I love how it includes even, yeah, urban gardeners. Then it progresses on to the community garden, the one acre farm, which I was hoping for. Maybe in the future I'll have that kind of space. Look at this picture, amazing. It gives you the perfect layout, where you can put everything, how you can organize it. And then the five acre farm, how you can or organize that. And then it goes on to chapter two, food from the garden. You can see I've highlighted parts of this and underlined it as well. And the food producing garden. And you can flip through different tools and how to create your beds, sowing and planting, protection from pests, pests, fungi, and diseases, illustrated vegetables and herbs and the parts thereof. These are just beautiful drawings really colorful and lovely. Herbs, all sorts of plants. This book is just a wonderful resource. I don't see how you could ever regret buying it. Food from animals, it talks about how to raise different animals like chickens, sheep, rabbits even. But if you're not into eating meat, of course, it covers fruit trees and different plants and taking care of those things in different seasons. Beautiful pictures. And it talks about their personality, their needs. For example, in the sheep part, it said, oh, you can never tie up a sheep. They have to be a free range or they'll break their little hearts, which I didn't know that. 
like you, know, you can't tie up a sheet. And then it has um, the food in the field, how to build fences and hedges, irrigating your land, grass and hay, really an invaluable resource. Canning, freezing, preserving, how to take care of your food. I love this in the kitchen part. The north facing storeroom, yay, my house is north facing. Harvesting and storing, making bread. And look at these step-by-step -step pictures. You can really see what to do. These drawings are amazing. How to do preserving and freezing. So nothing is wasted and canning. Making pickles, jams, desserts, how to take care of meats, fish and vegetables. If you want to make wine, <laughs> there's even how to do that or to brew beer, which is pretty impressive. And then it talks about energy and waste. So how to take care of um, your food scraps and you know turn those into compost. If you want to build a toilet, really you can be off grid with this book. Saving energy, using power from water. Our house has a, a wood burning stove that we're getting ready to move to. So I can't wait to use that using heat from the sun and power from the sun and power from wind and then how to set up your workshop so you can build things and do your plumbing it has knots and rope work basketry I would love to make a basket someday and pottery information you can even spin wool and cotton truly becoming self-sufficient if you so desire Making bricks and tiles. This looks incredible. Working in stone. And so on and so forth. Really, there's just a plethora of things here. Becoming a self-supporter. There's so many information, so much information and inspirational quotes. You can see I've just highlighted different passages. And um, talking about even relying on others. Not trying to do everything yourself, but also... Um, joining a co-op and then there's a glossary at the back to, that um, defines everything truly I can't help but recommend this resource there's so much to learn in here and it's something you can refer to over and over again thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and see you next week for another video thank you